Good morning. It is again time for our daily Lenten devotion. And um, we're continuing through the Beatitudes in the fifth chapter of Matthew that we call the uh, Sermon on the Mount. So I'm going to begin again at the uh, fifth chapter, first verse. Hear the word of the Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. And that's where I want to go this morning. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of the word. Amen. You know, something I haven't mentioned as we go through this is, you know, this, this is blessed are and not blessed will be someday. All of these blessings are not just something we are holding on to for some future time and some heavenly existence. We can have them right now, and I think that's a very important point. And blessed are the pure in heart. The word that is translated pure here uh, from the original Greek means unadulterated. It is not uh, watered down. It doesn't have anything mixed in with us. So it's like blessed are the people who have a single heart, a single heart for God, a single heart searching for God, for they will see God. And where do we see God? If we have that single heart, if we have that drive uh, to, to be one in, uh, in relationship with God, we will have a same drive to be in relationship with God's creation, which what is other people? So we can't see God and other people until we can have that pure heart that is not so filled with so many things that crowd God out, but that our single focus is on God and on loving others. That's today's devotion. Amen.